Odwiedzamy dzisiaj Żurawie, jedną z najstarszych osad w gminie Kcynia. Pierwsze zmianki o miejscowości pochodzą z 1259 roku. Kiedyś należała do rodziny Radzimińskich, była wsią szlachecką i składała się z dwóch osad, z Radzimin i z Żurawi. Tutaj miały miejsce ważne historyczne wydarzenia. Tutaj w 1656 roku, 1 czerwca, wojska królewskie rozłożone na terenie pomiędzy Palmierowem a Żurawią zostały zaskoczone przez wojska szwedzkie w trakcie potopu szwedzkiego. Niestety zostały rozgromione, a całą historię opisał na kartach potopu Henryk Sienkiewicz. Choć wieś zmieniła się od tamtego czasu, pełno w niej śladów dawnej przeszłości. Pokażemy Wam niektóre z nich. Dear Mr. Bernd von Bilow, we are meeting in Żurawia, the place where you grew in. Can you tell us about your childhood, how it was? It was wonderful. I had the best childhood I could have. Uh, even those parts who were in the war, uh, we didn't feel a war here because until the end of 44, huh? because it was far enough from the Allied bombing, not not a town like Hamburg or Dresden or totally destroyed. And when, when were you born? When? 33. I'm 33. born 33. So you were six when the war. Uh, began, yes, and uh, in April uh, 39, my, ch my parents wanted me to go to school because in Germany school begins with six. But uh, <coughs> they asked the authorities if I could go to school and they said no. <coughs> no, ex no exception for Germans. And uh, so I had to wait until the fall of uh, uh, 1939, and in Poland the, the schools begin with seven years at that time. Yeah. I don't know how it's today. And so yes, I, I in uh, September 39, I went to Xenia, to Exine as we called it. But here we had a wonderful youth, uh, especially because we were seven boys of the same age. The three boys of the gardener, Gregorowski, Selo, Kazik and Marian, and three boys of our inspector, Kowalski, as well as Geno and Gero, and my brother and me, Bernd and Harald, we were seven boys. And playing here around was so wonderful. Climbing the trees and building little uh, uh, farms on the, on, the, on the ground and everything. And they were always, always Polish, but we only spoke German. And this uh, area, the, the, the farm of my father, German was officially language. And my father spoke to everybody only German. Of course, although my father was able to speak an excellent German, Polish, he had a Polish matura from uh, Poznan, and uh, uh, and as Mr. Professor Jurczyk visited him in uh, the year of his death when he was 98, he was astonished about the excellent Polish my father spoke. My father was always angry that the normal people here they spoke a terrible Polish, uh, what we call in German. Germany, a, Tur a Turking Deutsch. Turking Deutsch. Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 only the, the, the German immigrants speak. It's like broken English. Or yeah, something yeah, like some, this. something like that. Mm -hmm. the, the Polish people. My father was always astonished how bad it was. In the time we were here, when I was a boy, uh, we played not only in the, the garden but also on the the courtyard with the, with the animals, yeah, right? Yeah. And, uh, but we also had to work. It's not only that uh, we were uh, just playing. I uh, used uh, to drive a hunger harke. But it was your duty, duty to What well, was your duty? Yeah. I, 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 half a day I had to work for it. Yeah. And at the time, <coughs> the parents uh, tried always to include the children into the work. Let's say, do something with, with the cows or with the pigs or so. 
and also with hunting. We very early learned to, to use a rifle, uh, rifle yeah. and uh, uh, there was a, always a plate to, uh, can, to try. To practice, you, yeah, uh, hunting. Practice and they were just very strong. Yes. If somebody would have used it to use it to a person, even if they were not shot, they would immediately lose, lose their car. They were very strict in that. Yeah. Uh, so but that's, was, it, was it an idyllic time for you? Yeah. Can it was you call a, it an idyllic time? Idyllic time, yeah. idyllic time. And you see... Despite the war, despite the problems with uh, Nazis and... No, uh, we had no problems. And uh, you see, what I... Uh, Mr. Sharuga asked me why I'm come back. I had a wonderful childhood here, and it didn't matter if they were Polish or German or so, it didn't any, it matter. All the people around were Polish, except uh, the Schmidt, what is that? There was one, and... So did he live here in Żuravia also? Hmm? Mr. Schmidt lived here in Żuravia also? Yeah, 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 they all lived here on the... Yeah. There were many buildings on the left side here, you see. Uh, the, there are not any more buildings here, but, but there were many buildings over there. They were all of the same kind, like the last one before is uh, uh, one way goes down where Jungschewski has I lived. See. Uh, yeah. That was a type of, of house, and you see it on the on the pictures. And so, and there is a picture also one uh, in the courtyard. Uh, where the young horses were in there, we, we sit, um, five boys or four boys, one at, yeah, two were uh, Polish of uh, Jagorowski, one was Polish of Kowalski, and, and uh, my brother and me. So it, it, it didn't matter. Huh? And of course, uh, all the men spoke excellent German. Because let's say Father uh, Proust was born 1906, and Walek Jumczewski was born 1905. So remember, in 1919, when this became Polish again, Jumczewski had already totally school in German. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so why they spoke excellent. Yeah, they spoke excellent Polish. Not the wives, the wives, more, more, why not? they were not so but long in school. But it is typical for Poles at that time, that they were attended to the German schools. That's ah, yeah. why they sp ah, yeah. can speak German fluently. Ah, yeah. uh, and uh, even Mr. Professor Jurczyk, whom I met later, uh, and you know the story that my father saved the life of his father, uh, he then went to Upper Silesia and as he spoke an excellent German, he could go to a German school. Nobody cared about it. And that's why at the end of the world, world War, uh, Jurczyk had a school and he could immediately begin to study. Yeah. Uh, that's why he saved so many years. But because he had the opportunity to finish school at yeah. Upper Silesia. Yeah, yeah. And on the other hand, these three boys of uh, the Jagorowski, that was a really uh, one of the most crimes that the, the, the German did. They were not allowed to go to school during the war. So, uh, Sylvester had already two years school in Polish time. Uh, Kazik, 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 yes, had no school at all no, and the, during the five years. So he started to learn just after the war? Yeah, but he, he didn't because he had to, to work in his father's uh, garden. And the youngest, uh, he went uh, to learn something else with cars, so he had a little uh, uh, school, but he was too old for a big, for the first class. Yeah, obviously. Right? And so that's what, what I uh, 
uh, feel is one of the most crimes that people were not allowed to go to school. Of course, the Polish farmers lost their, um, their farms. But after the war, they got, they got them back, so nothing uh, actually happened. And we had three of them just living in the last house. Uh, Nevijawa was the one, and I remember the, the other two, two. They were from the Xenia area and lost their farms. And they came to my father and asked, can we work here? And my father said, OK, come here and you work here. And after the war, they go, went back to their car. But that children uh, are not going to school is, is, is a real crime. crime. And uh, um, it, no people uh, put their finger on this. I believe this is, is one of the, 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 the typical crimes. That, uh, because you cannot... Uh, develop your skills and yeah and you cannot repair it yeah? because the children are um, built to learn things in a special age and if they are too old they don't learn much so any so, so much uh, anymore yeah? and that's why my mother tried to uh, teach them but um, only a little when you close your eyes and think about your childhood, what do you remember the most? Oh, oh, the oh, feeling, oh. the scent, the taste, the special moment, what do you remember the most? Everything that I can see, I am not for, for hearing. Hearing is nothing. So the pictures? S pictures are all. Yeah. Huh? And what picture? Pictures. And of course, uh, you see the the Köchin and the Gärtner, the, the lady who cooks yeah. in the kitchen, was very important for us when we were a uh, boy. They were the same kind like, like these ladies today. They were, had a little more here and had a wonderful hug to, yeah. to, to, to take the boys. And, and we, lo we loved her. Was uh, she a warm person? Warm person, yes, yes, Someone yes. Someone who wants to have yeah, you. Yeah, 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 we loved her. We said Gaga to her. <laughs> it was not her name. And was it, was it a kind of nanny for you? No, no, no. 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 She, she had no, uh, no function, function that a nanny was a Polish, uh, was Jadwiga, uh, was uh, from Xenia now, and uh, lived also here. There were many Rybak daughters. It was uh, Helena, he was, uh, she was Makievich later. Then Kunda, he married, she married uh, Jan Kalka. Then was uh, Wadja, she married Fran Franciszek Kalka, the father of uh, Marella. Then was uh, uh, Hedwig Jadwiga, she was in, in charge of us. And there was, I believe, some more. Yeah. Uh, the Rebach family, family was here. Rebach was uh, for the young horses, and he was a very, very fine man. And he took part in the First World War as a German soldier, because in the First World War they all had German nationality, of course. Of course. And he was on the France side. And, and he fought as a German soldier during oh yeah, the and he, First he, he World had, War. He had a, 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 the Iron Cross. Iron Cross. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. And he had here a, 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 a wound. There was a shot through, 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 through the hand, but did not hurt so much. So he could, he could use everything. But and how do you remember Ksenia when you were attending the school? How was it? How was the town? The town was the same as it now, except the marketplace. The marketplace were full of cars, horse cars. There was no garden arrangements, as here, no trees and so on. Just stones and full of cars. All the farmers and also the 
from the big farm, big uh, owners, they went to the marketplace and stood there and uh, some ladies uh, or somebody else made their shopping uh, until uh, they had enough. So the same like now? Oh yeah, but, but uh, everything was cars. And when I came back 72, it was the same except that the cars had uh, rubber wheels instead of <laughs> iron wheels. I see. So this but, is the one that changed, yeah. Uh, but um, very few years later, the marketplace had many times changed. Sometimes it was full of trees, sometimes it was empty, uh, only a parking area, and it, every five years it looked different. So, Xenia, uh, yeah, and of course I, I remember some of the, the shoppings. The one is Kiri. Kiri was uh, for sugar and bread and salt and, and noodles and everything, Lebensmittel. And she was just in front of uh, the town hall on the other side. And my mother uh, phoned what she wanted to have or gave Jan Karka a list, what he was. List of shopping. Yeah. And then he went there and said, uh, and he had not to pay, he had a booklet, or the, right? And the end of the month uh, was paid. Yeah. Right? And then uh, just beside the, ch the, ch the Catholic monastery church, there was a Zatla. Uh, Zatla uh, is the man, he makes leather, leather for, for horses. Huh? Oh, this one. Yeah. And the saddles. Everything what is from leather. And he was a very uh, important person and she was in the church, he was in the leading group. Could you, could you add anything to our story about your childhood? Yeah, so Ed, yeah. I added already many, many. Do you remember any song or a poem? Yeah, a song, of course. There's a, uh, Jadwiga, who was in charge of us, she was always singing, and she was singing German uh, melodies. German melodies? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Golf von Beskaya, Beskaya in Maiderland song. Und immer an der Wand lang, immer an der Wand lang. Also, a lot of uh, modern songs, which it existed only for well, two years, maybe a year, uh, modern songs. But I remember them. But you them. still remember? Ah, yeah, I, I remember, so. of course. And uh, what? Uh, yeah, of, of course, singing was uh, in our family uh, at Christmas time always, yeah. And uh, Did the, you the sing Christmas, carols? Christmas was very yeah. important uh, in our family. And uh, Christmas, uh, the my parents uh, made uh, gifts to the poor families of, of the village and they, they got gifts. Uh, what did they give them? Something Sweets. to eat. Yeah. Something to eat. Cakes and apples and yeah. uh, things like that. I, I, did but you I, have the Christmas tree? I don't, I don't know exactly what it was. Yeah. It was m more a good sign. Yes, it was not uh, something necessary uh, yeah. at the time. But did you have the Christmas tree? Do you remember? Ah, yeah, <laughs> Christmas tree, of course. And did you decorate with apples and yeah. nuts? Yeah, yeah, but, but not me, that's, uh, that's the older people do, did. <laughs> yeah. I, I did it later on in my own family, I, I always uh, decorated. And I remember uh, there was a um, uh, decoration with uh, um, Bethlehem and uh, Maria and Joseph yeah. and so nativity scene, and, uh, yeah. and uh, the three uh, uh, wise people who came there with, with an elephant and a camel and uh, yeah. with the horse and so and I know that one of the uh, songs was Stille Nacht, Stille Nacht and my younger brother 
uh, he always uh, saw no, I had left hands, I had left hands, <laughs> because he was just standing yeah. in, in front of the elephant, yeah. who was so big. Maybe it was easier for him to remember <laughs> that song, singing uh, and, and then what was very important was, after the, the corn was coming in, Ernte Dankfest, I don't know how to translate it, uh, after uh, there was a good corn and, and uh, potatoes and everything and was finished, then there was a, always a great festival in the, in the Speicher. The Speicher, right? the speakers, yeah. Ah, and, uh, that was we'll all, go there. Yeah, and uh, that was always very important for everybody came from the, the oldest and the youngest and the, and this, 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 this gave. Uh, so it was a feast be, be, for, for the whole village. For the whole village, and the whole village were only people who worked for us. Yeah. Nobody else yeah. lived here. No, only yeah. people who worked for us. I see. Right? And sometimes during these festivations, people, the young boys came from Xenia and wanted to get entrance, and our young boys said, said no. No. <laughs> We are not on, only for yeah. us, only for us, and of course they got not only, not only beer, but only vodka. also some vodka. Yeah. As my father wrote in an article, he was, they were only drunk to the to the moment as it was allowed, <laughs> not I too see. much. Not too much, I see. Uh, and there was music, of course, and some at, the, at the beginning. They, they had ernte krone. They had uh, from, uh, the, from, the, from the corn, uh, the barley and the rye. And they, they made such crowns, uh, big ones. Yeah. And they had them on the table. And then they went in to the hall. And the, the two in folk, as we named it, the head of the people was Adamowski, Doberstein, Kowalski, and uh, they were all in, in a black dress, one, and they made a speech to my father uh, in German, and my father answered in German and in Polish, and then they had a little singing there, and gave a good wishes yeah. to the family, and to the my mother, they wished every year a young baby. <laughs> every year? Yeah. But the doctor said, no, no, the babies are so heavy. Uh, I was nine and a half kilo, and my next brother was 10 kilo. The doctor <laughs> said, so stop, 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 not anymore for That's five enough. years. Yeah. For five years. And then my, my sister came five years later. If you ask what my first memory is, it was I was four years. It was 1937. I remember Polish aeroplanes about here. At that time, Polish uh, state was very eager to get war. Yeah. It's not so. They were not against war. They were yeah. pro-war, and they, in, in the Xenia, they collected the people and said, in one week we will be in Berlin, in one week we'll be in Berlin. Really? Yeah, they did. I haven't heard about it. Yeah, I, I did. My father and others uh, have yeah. documented this. And so, so they, they, they had, uh, the officers were always living in, in our house. Yeah. And, so, and the others lived in the, in the old school which is there and, and other places. And the aeroplanes uh, on, the, on, the, on the sky. Here we see Laurentius Vavchin. Yeah. Right? And uh, when I came back in 1972, all pe people said, You are welcome in this town, in this village, because your father had saved this Vavchin. Can you tell us the story of yes, hiding? Yes, of hiding, yes. So, uh, during the war, 
the Germans uh, wanted to make this area, Warteland, to an uh, area without churches, without Catholic church and without German, uh, as a uh, uh, Protestant church. But bo both were... Both of them. Both Not of them. only the Catholic churches, but also evangelical ah, churches. The, they didn't allow any more that in, in the uh, evangelic church was collected money and so uh, they had a lot, lot of trouble. But of course, uh, for the Catholic, it was more difficult. And they put away all these Heiligen figures, saints, all the saints from every village. And this was uh, maybe the last one in any village. It was standing there where I told you where this, this, the way goes down. And uh, his duty was to look for the town that it doesn't give a fire. That was his duty. So he, this saint was protecting it's, the city from fire? Yeah, yeah. the village, yeah. 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 That was said. And uh, my father got the information that uh, uh, this last one uh, should be t taken away also. And they were all uh, cut down with hammers and uh, for, for pavements. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the evening of the working day, he asked the foreman to come to his bureau and he told, yes, a little, um, no, not directly, but indirectly, uh, you all know that the saints are taken away now and uh, uh, we, we have the last here and uh, maybe it takes not long time then they come here and take it always. And so my father uh, talked about it, not directly, but uh, seven times around until they understood. Yeah. And during the Between night... Between words. Eh? Something between words. Mm -hmm. And during the night they went and took it away. And next morning there was no, no option anymore. Eh? And uh, it was in the Spichat. And my father didn't know exactly at what place and he didn't want uh, to know it. Otherwise the party could have... Uh, uh, forced him to force him to sell. To tell the so, truth. So he was happy that he didn't know the exact place. Yeah. And after the war, every people were here were sure that my father knew exactly where it was. And it opened all the houses. We came here several times, and even my parents came here 60, 76, and 77, and they could go to every farm. All open the Because houses. of that story, because of the uh, story not uh, not of only, but uh, my yeah. father was a good person anyway. My mother also. But and it opens the doors to all, oh yeah. every house in oh yeah. and, uh, Moravia. And uh, it was uh, this time. It was good that it was not a state farm here, but 56 small farms, all uh, eight to ten hectares almost un, 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 uh, impossible to live yeah. with. Grocholin was a state. They were not allowed to go there, but nowadays it's better there because <clears throat> they look for the parks, they look for the house, and, and uh, this is all beautiful mm. here, here. It's not so. But at that time it was wonderful. My, my father came here and he was just, uh, one of the pictures is there. My, my father was Kalkas and the old Karalevska. And it was for my fa parents, it was wonderful. My father said, oh, there is a big difference between uh, the feeling of possession and the p feeling of home. I feel that I, I am at home here, but I don't anymore feel that I was uh, the owner. owner. That is a way my father and the May not 45 said that's all again, all away, nothing anymore, no, yeah. no remembrance about, about that. But he said the clouds are other here and the, the weather is other here and the people are 
the same than I have been always uh, living with. And so he felt really at home here. And he took, uh, wrote articles about it, and this is one of those I gave you. That was two times that my parents were here. And my, our son has been with him three or four times. She has been here for two times, I believe. <laughs> and you, how many times have you 18 been? Eighteen times. Eighteen times? <laughs> Eighteen times I've been here. <laughs> this is here, it was a German school until 1918. And after the war, uh, this area became Polish, it became a Polish school. I don't know for a long time, I can't know, but in 39, of course, this Polish school was not anymore. And then normal people, our hunter and the gardener, lived there. Lived was, there. Was. That building with the cross on the wall, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This, this, this was originally a school. Okay. And, uh, ah, ah, yes, and, and it's interesting. This road originally went higher. It was a little hill. And my father cut it down so that the cars could go straight. And by the way, they discovered a lot of uh, old houses and uh, pots. And uh, some people from the museum came here and they so what they found took the, the, the took pots the, to yeah. the museum in Berlin. And they sh uh, said that what they found is what all, uh, already in the stone time uh, have lived people here. It's a very, 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 very old, old. Yeah. place. And yeah. another thing is, it was not so old. Down in the, in, the, in, the, in the valley, there was a big lake until uh, 80, 1740 approximately. Yeah. And uh, even at our time, if you were digging there in the meadows, you always found mussels. Yeah? Mussels? Yeah. So that's why maybe from the... From the lake. Lake, yeah. And we even found such a sword. It's also the museum. Yeah. I have seen the sword. This was originally in my father's room and then came to, 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 the, to the museum. This was a very long lake. And in our time, it was only a very small yeah. Xinka. Yeah. Uh, 